I am a very big fan of anything that gets people off of big tech platforms. Huge fan, especially, especially if it gets people off of YouTube because YouTube is just the worst. It is just the absolute worst for, for users, for creators, for everybody. I know a whole bunch of you are standing up right now, flipping your tables over going, oh my gosh, Lunduke, YouTube is great. I love YouTube on my TV, blah, 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 blah. It's just the worst, I'm standing by that. So when I saw that Rumble Studio got announced today in beta from the folks at Rumble, I got really excited for a couple of very specific reasons. And I wanted to, I wanted to walk you guys through a little bit of this because this is the exact sort of thing that is required in order to loosen the iron grip that YouTube and, and various other big tech platforms have is applications and tools that make it so enjoyably easy to not be on YouTube that then you being using YouTube is just is just insane. So when they, they, they announced Rumble Studio, and I took a look at this screenshot. Uh, for those of you uh, listening to the the podcast version, go over to lunduke.locals.com or something and watch the watch the video version. I might upload this one to YouTube also, just because I'm making fun of YouTube in it. So if you're watching it on YouTube, go watch it somewhere else. Um, but look at the screenshot here. What we have here is a replacement for many of the broadcasting pieces of software and web services that many people use, many creators use to broadcast live streams of their shows. But what really sets this apart and makes it really interesting is a couple of things. First, note, on the side there, it shows the live chat and it shows little icons from YouTube, from Rumble, from Twitch, oh yeah. According to this, it has integrated the live chat from multiple platforms into a single interface. That is nuts. That is so handy. Oh my word, that's fantastic. And it, what it also does is, where is this at here? It allows you to not just broadcast to multiple services at once. So like, for example, for example, your favorite YouTuber or Twitch streamer could switch over to using Rumble Studio and instantly stream to Rumble and YouTube and Locals and Twitch and all at the same time. But they then can say, hey, you know what? Only the first half hour, whatever of my show is going to be on Twitch and YouTube. You want to get the rest of the show, move over to Rumble or, or Locals, and they can hit a button and toggle it and let people know that it's time to move over and redirect over to those other sites to help move your audience over to the sites that, that are a little bit more respectful of both the creators and the end users. Because let's be honest. YouTube and Twitch are the opposite of respectful of creators. Not only do they gouge creators, they don't give creators um, hardly any of the cuts of, of their ad revenue. It's insane. There, it, there is a ad revenue apocalypse happening right now where com YouTube creators who were able to earn their living off of YouTube before simply aren't anymore. And on top of the ad problems, sponsors are pulling right and left from from YouTube channels. It, it, it's insane. But you move over to say a subscription platform like locals, like what I've done, and you drive people over there and you can present an ad free sponsor free experience for all of your fans for all of the fans and get them on over there. And you can do it using something like this to make it really, really simple. And it has all the, the general features that you know, you kind of you kind of need you stream it to a bunch of places. But it also has a lot of the features that things like the OBS, the open broadcasting software has to uh, let you kind of overlay text and images and all sorts of things on your screen. So you can lay out things like I do right now, except entirely in Rumble Studio. And not only are they going to support it from a website, but they're going to have an iOS and Android application for it. 
right? So then I can go live from anywhere, not just as a simple webcam, but with me, with guests, with little overlays and text things and all sorts of stuff. Awesome. Awesome. This is, this is exactly what was needed in order to drive more people off of, off of things like YouTube. One of the things that I think is brilliant that, that honestly, I wish I would have done right from the start is I was watching a live stream uh, from Russell Brandt. And Russell Brandt, the comedian, actor, all around opinionated guy, right? He has his regular podcast, YouTube show that he's been going for, for quite some time. And he started moving them over to Rumble and Locals which super smart because YouTube censors the heck out of everything. And, and I'm not just saying like words or political ideas. I mean, YouTube censors channels that talk about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency a little too much. Like if they like cryptocurrency too much, they get censored on YouTube. If you, um, I, I had an entire year where every single video I made that had the word Linux in the title was automatically demonetized and shadow, like shadow banned and, and, and delisted from everywhere instantly because it was talking about Linux. Right? What, what the heck is wrong with that? So YouTube has this sort of thing going on all the time in a number of different industries. So people need to get off of, off of YouTube, right? So what Russell Brand did is he has this big presence on YouTube, huge amount of subscribers. And so he's like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stream my show everywhere right? YouTube and Rumble and Locals. And he set up this brilliant system. That, seriously, I wish I would have thought of it. I wish I was that smart. He streams to all of them. And then after like, I can't remember what it is, like a certain amount of time, like a half hour in, he tells his YouTube audience, all right, if you want to keep watching, go on over to Rumble or Locals. And he turns, and a little bit later, he has a countdown on it. He turns off the YouTube stream. And they got to move over if they want to keep watching the show. Now they're going to make it in Rumble Studio where they're actually going to, where, where is this here? They're going to actually have a stream redirect. Easily let your audience know when it's time to move from one platform to another. Perfect, right? To make it e easy to just toggle that on and off. Then once they're over on Rumble, what he does is he lets them sit on Rumble for a while. It finishes out his whole show on Rumble. And he's like, okay. Now the regular show is done. We're going to move over to an after show party Q&A thing only on locals. So everyone head over to locals and you got to be a subscriber and support the show and all that sort of thing to get those sorts of things. But everyone move on over there. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's, there's nothing quite like this. This is, this is a really really big deal. And what they're saying, and it doesn't look like this is going to be right away in the beta for Rumble Studio, but according to the Rumble Studio website, studio.rumble.com, they're going to have caller queues, which means a nice, easy way for taking live questions. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. That is such a big deal. Um, I, I've been looking at ways to do this for a while now, and all the solutions I've come up with are cumbersome and kludgy at best. Oh man, if Rumble has a nice built-in solution, if and if I can do it from like a from like a, a an Android phone or an iPhone or from just my laptop with the web the website up, that that's amazing. And then clips. Export your favorite moments. So it means I can sit down, do a live show for an hour, two hours, and chunk out the various bits that I want to release as standalone videos. Oh, that just makes my life so much easier. So Rumble's rolling this out, and um, it, it's in beta right now. You have to sign up to uh, to be on like a waiting list in order to join it. But uh, uh, I'm I've, <laughs> I'm going to be playing with this very very soon because this this I need to play with this. This this is a this is a must thing for me. And when I see all these features, it immediately makes me think of all of the tech creators that I'm friends with that are focused on mostly YouTube, but also a little bit on Twitch. And they're afraid to make the move to anywhere else because they've got, you know, so many, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers sitting there on YouTube and they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose all that progress. But what this would allow them to do really seamlessly is 
make this their their workflow for live streams all going through this have their live streams happening on rumble and locals in addition to youtube and twitch so people who are just not gonna leave youtube and twitch well they can still get some of their content but then it funnels all the rest of those youtubers over to rumble over to locals where there's a there's a lot less censorship happening in terms of like uh ideas so you can talk about bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and you're not going to be demonetized because you say the word linux too many times which seriously that's why i've been hit by that so much it's ridiculous but then also drive people over to locals which means subscriptions and this isn't like a Oh my gosh, everyone needs to pay for every last little piece of content. But what, what realistically needs to happen right now in order to keep so many of our favorite creators going full time is we need to move them over to subscription based services because the, the market has just bottomed out on advertising for these sorts of shows, for podcasts and, and YouTube video shows and the like. The, the ad words are doing terrible and performing worse and worse all the time. Uh, the YouTube algorithm is burying more and more things. And sponsors, companies, like uh, you see all those podcasts and YouTube channels that get sponsored by this VPN network or, or this ISP and, and virtual host provider over here, right? Those are the two common ones. Well, that's happening less and less. They're all pulling back on their budgets right now, which means that there's a couple of possibilities. One, those creators simply won't be able to make enough money to justify the time spent on it, so they'll stop. That would be a bummer, right? Because there's some great ones doing some solid work out there. Or they need to find another way of earning enough revenue to keep going, to keep doing it full time, which realistically means like two or three different possibilities. One is they do more ads, right? They make up for the fact that ads are now worth, you know, one fifth of what they used to be by doing five times the ads. That sucks. Cause that's like, like no content creator, no show host wants to read ads for 80% of their show. That sucks. Or they go with some sort of a tipping cryptocurrency system, none of which has panned out as a full-time thing for anyone that I've seen yet. Um, if few creators have gotten close, and I more power to them, I say go for it. There's a couple of like the Lightning Podcast Network and there's a few others where people are like tipping crypto coin, right? Tipping Bitcoin in order to try and fund their favorite podcasts or shows. However, I don't know of anyone who is earning a huge amount from any of those, right? Anyone. Or you move over to a subscription system, right? And the most effective system I've seen for that is over on locals. So I encourage people to, to look at that. But this sort of thing just makes it all easy and seamless for the creator and helps make it easier for the for the fans and the viewers as well. I I love this. I I absolutely love this. I'm really, really hoping that uh, that it lives up to my expectations because my expectations are really freaking high right now. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. The team over at Rumble and Locals and everything, no pressure on you. But I'm really, really excited about this. I think that this is exactly what's needed. And I, I love that we're finally at a place where not only... Are we seeing services like Rumble and Locals hit that critical mass threshold where they have so many people using the platform that they are regularly in the top of their category? So like when you look at the streaming stats, regularly the most streamed shows are over on Rumble, not YouTube and Twitch. That's not a joke. Like if you look at the stats, it, Rumble posts this on Twitter every now and then because they're obviously excited about it. But you look at the, the, the top streamed shows in like various categories, like the political stuff or anything like that, the, the most streamed shows, there's more viewers happening over on Rumble for a lot of the categories. And that's a pretty big deal because that means that for a creator, you can be like, okay, if I move over there, it's not like I'm going to an empty, barren wasteland. It's not just simply a well-designed network, but there's no one there. You're actually going where people are now, 
right? Because you've hit that critical threshold. You've hit that critical mass. And that also means that as more, more of those creators come over, the, the viewers know that they can come over too and they're going to find more of their favorite creators there. It, it's sort of like a, a snowball rolling out of control. It takes a while before that snowball really gets going, but then it just barrels down the hill and becomes a huge snowball. That's where Rumble and locals have gotten to, to, to this point, and they've just kind of hit that giant, out-of-control, crazy, fast snowball point. And that's very exciting to see because I, I've been wanting this to happen for so long. For those of you who've been following me, you know that I, I've been pushing for alternative platforms like Library and Locals and, 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 and uh, Odyssey and so many other things over the years. And in one way or another, most of them just kind of missed the mark. Right, like Library and Odyssey is a great example where they were using some interesting technology. They had some good ideas and they had some initial success. I mean, for a while, I think I was the number one thing on their platform, but then they then they just kind of imploded on themselves. They 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 missed the mark. They weren't they weren't really in tune with what both people like the viewers wanted and what the creators wanted. What I've been noticing is the folks over on the Rumble side seem to be pretty in tune with that. They're like, okay, these are the features that the creators want and these are the features that the end users want. Let's just provide those, but really good, right? And they're not getting sidetracked by things that people don't want, like which is what happened with Library and Odyssey and whatnot. And so now we're seeing real success. But then the next big step is making it so that it's not only a good viable alternative, which it is, right? It's a good alternative to YouTube now. But now they're rolling out the features that make it more compelling, right? Because now if you're sitting on YouTube and you're like, okay, you know, I could move over to Rumble. I could, I could set up a, a Locals site. And yeah, it would be nice to have, you know, my videos on Locals with no ads. And yeah, I, I would like to not have to worry about saying the word cryptocurrency too many times and getting demonetized by, by being over on Rumble. That would be nice. Uh, but I, I have all my people here. It's going to be a lot of work and uh, it's just too hard. Now Rumble Studio comes along and they provide significant features that make it so much easier, like quality of life improvements. I mean, look look at the, the, the live chat alone where it integrates the live chat from multiple services or the ability to do this, to do what we currently do via OBS, but entirely either through the web service or through an iOS or Android app, uh, the, the, the redirection to multiple streaming services, the caller queues, oh my word. Uh, these are quality of life improvements that simply don't exist on other platforms. And I, I'm super excited about it. I, I'm really, I'm really, really jazzed about it. Uh, uh, great. Your head is screwed on straight. The folks over at Rumble and Locals. I, I just, just want to say that if you are a content creator and you're curious about locals and the like, and what, what that sort of thing means, in terms of a business strategy, as opposed to what you have to do over on YouTube, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I, the more people that get off of YouTube, the better. And this is this is not a promotion for Rumble and Locals, right? Like if if this was a different company doing all this good stuff, I'd be promoting them. It's that Rumble and Locals are doing the good stuff. <laughs> They're doing it right. And I, I want to support the companies that are doing it absolutely right. Um, and man, anything that puts a, puts a dent into <laughs> the YouTube side of things is, is aces in my book. So I, I just wanted to talk about this briefly because this is really cool. It's really, really nice to see. I, I mean, I, I can't go wrong. I, it reaffirms my decision to focus all of my content over on Locals. Now, if you go to my Rumble channel, you'll notice I, I really haven't focused on that. And I think I probably should. I, I probably should focus more on my Rumble channel. And when I do my live streaming again, I, I'm going to live stream everywhere. But take that Russell Brandt approach where it's like, okay, it's over on YouTube for a while. And then I slowly transition people over to Rumble and Locals where they can watch the entirety of the show plus after show parties and and q and a's and and all that sort of thing i, I think we're gonna we're gonna just funnel everything that direction but i'm 
I'm super excited about this. My my decisions have been have been affirmed. It is it is both exciting and relieving, right? Because you hate to put all your eggs into a basket, like I have with putting. All, I've been putting my eggs all in the, the locals basket. Locals as a service, putting all my content there. You'd hate to think that it would go badly, right? It's happened to me before. I have been screwed over multiple times, and I haven't this time. They have really followed through. They have followed through on their promises. They have followed through on what it seemed like they were capable of doing, and they have done exactly what I was hoping they would do. And honestly, faster than I was thinking they'd do it. So uh, awesome. Awesome. A chink in the YouTube armor. That's what I say. That's fantastic. Anyway, uh, thank you to everyone who uh, who subscribes over at uh, lunduke.locals.com. Go to lunduke.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, go to lunduke.com and you'll get a whole page of links of places you can find my articles, my podcast feeds, my my video content, all of it. It's it's all there how you can get a hold of me. It's it's a nice easy spot for you to go find all that stuff. It's uh, it's super super fantastic. And we're going to get going on the streaming again. Once once this Rumble Studio stuff all comes through um, and I've been added to the beta program, um, uh, here's looking at you Rumble and Locals guys. Go ahead and add me to that. I'm excited. Um, I, I wanna. I'll, I'll get the live streams going again. We'll do some Q and A's. We'll do a couple of live shows, and we'll start really playing around with how this works. And I'll give all of you guys a little behind the scenes of of how it works too. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, everybody. With that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes, I do declare and <laughs> broadcast.